I'm Casey Angel reporting live from the Miami Rescue Mission right outside of their Center for Men's Chapel where behind me people are already filing in for a very important partners luncheon. These luncheons happen once every two months on each of the campuses in Hollywood, in Miami, and in Pompano Beach. These very important partners luncheons highlight the volunteers, supporters, and donors who have partnered with the Miami Rescue Mission and Broward Outreach Centers for some time and they give a great, great ceremony here. I'm joined here now by Commander Lasaro Faro. Commander, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank and I know that you've been volunteering here at the Miami Rescue Mission and helping out. What kind of things have you done? Well, what we're trying to do is build a partnership with our officers, the department, and a lot of the homeless assistance programs that we have in the community. For example, every morning we go out with the green shirts, what we call the green shirts. Uh, some of the employees of the uh, Homeless Trust Program, like Wayne Davis and uh, Vivian Johnson. And we go out every morning and what we do is we seek out the homeless individuals that are within the community, offer them assistance. Obviously, uh, those that don't want assistance and they're breaking the law, we have to do our job, we have to enforce it accordingly. But what we're trying to do is let them know that there is an avenue, there's an avenue of help. And the Miami Rescue Mission is integral in the community how we're able to bring some of those individuals here. And there's nothing more rewarding than to come to any of these events and actually see what a difference we can make in someone's life. And when you give back to the, to the community, that is very, very rewarding. Hi Casey, thank you so much for having me. What we do is that we want to spread awareness within the community that you can do a drive, you can do a drive at your school, your place of worship, your work. Um, we set out a goal for 50,000 Hope Tote Bags this year and we're aiming and we're getting these bags in and this is so awesome to see that so many people share the same vision that no one is homeless and that they're all here today. We had about 50 people right now in our VPL so it was very, very awesome. That's a very exciting turnout. Now if somebody wanted to get involved as a donor, as a supporter, at as a volunteer, how is the best way they could do that? The best thing to do is go on our website, www.miamirescuemission.com, and click on the volunteer tab, and we'll go and fill out a web inquiry, and we can contact you right away. I'm joined by a very important partner, as the title says, Winnie McCoy. She's with the Homeless Formerly Homeless Forum. Winnie, thank you so much for joining us, and I wanted to ask you, what kind of partnership do you do with the Miami Rescue Mission? Um, with the Miami Rescue Mission, we go out and we advocate for the homeless, and we advocate them to uh, seek shelter, and at the same time, we advocate them with medical care, health care uh, needs, um, assessment needs, and uh, other things like that. So this is actually something that hits quite close to home to you. I heard your testimony in there a little bit. And so why is this such a passion of yours? Because I can never forget where I came from. I was also homeless, um, not by force, but by choice. And to today, as I live uh, my life today, I prefer to give back to those um, who is unfortunate as, as me. If somebody wanted to think about volunteering at the Miami Rescue Mission or with Homeless Formerly Homeless, what would you actually tell them, give them some advice since you've gone through something like that? I would, ask, I would actually tell them my story and I would give them a lift up and, and ask them, yeah, come and be a part of us, you know. Come and be a part of uh, the Miami Rescue Mission, you understand? Help your brother fellow man, you know. Um, go out and tell somebody your story, you know. Um, encourage that person, lift that person up. Perfect. Well, I just wanted to thank Winnie. I wanted to thank the rest of the people that came here, all of the partners that came here today on the Miami Rescue Mission campus. These happen every two months on each of the campuses in Miami, in Hollywood, and in Pompano Beach.